Vanessa and today we're doing a sewing tutorial and it's on how to make bloomers. So these are like really baggy shorts that you wear as an undergarment so it's pretty much your underwear. All it is is huge rectangles so each leg is a huge rectangle. You just sew that like you have a small curve and then you just do the gathering and you have a nice bow here. Okay so I hope you enjoy this tutorial. So I have a total length of about a meter and 20 centimeters and the fabric width is the 45 inch, okay? So over here, I've just cut off, like this is about, mm -hmm, this is about two inches worth because I, and I, there, I separate it into two, so I have two, two inches by the length of the, the width of the fabric because I want to make um, bow ties with this to put on the side, okay? So you cut this off first, right? Okay, take that away. And with the remainder fabric, I'm just going to cut it in half. So we're going to take this, fold it in half. Okay, so you uh, fold the fabric in half and then we're just going to cut it in half. Okay, so now the total length of each leg, I have 23 inches. Okay, so since on the fabric, lots of the fabric, they have this kind of white trim with like words and they have the hole, so that's when they're making the fabric. Um, I normally cut this off before I sew because it's really annoying when you sew the seam and then you end up seeing this stuff. So I cut this off first. So once you have your fabric cut out in two big rectangles, you're gonna paste, place them. Um, right sides together and then we're gonna cut out the crotch for the front and the back Okay, so to demonstrate this I'm just gonna show it on paper because it's smaller so you can see it So this is the right side with these little clouds on it. So you have your two pieces of um, fabric So we're gonna take the right sides together Okay, and the longer width is like the, the horizontal so this would be the top and this is the bottom so what we need to do is cut out um the two curves for your your the crotch um so the front and the back so for the real fabric i have i have my pattern so this is for me this is the back so for this i would cut this curve out right here okay so the measurements for mine are it goes 14 i'll move this back so 14 inches down and at the top the thickness is about four and a half inches and then this just curves down. You really the curve it since these pants are super super baggy, it doesn't matter that much. So just just remember that we have 14 inches go down and at the top it's four and a half inches. So then you just cut and make a curve. And for the front, you want to make the front smaller. Okay, so for the front, see if I would place this on top, the front is about two and a half inches skinnier than the back, okay? Because your butt is larger in the back. That's why you have a larger space here. Okay, so now to show with the fabric, the paper. So we have, this is the right side, the right sides together. So say this is the back. So if this is the back, we're gonna go 14 inches down, 14, and we said four and a half here. So we're gonna just cut a curve like that, and the front will be like, smaller like this okay so now we have the pants so we're just gonna cut these curves out okay so now we have two legs okay so you see one side one curve is much bigger than the other curve that's correct so we're gonna take it and we're gonna fold this in half so this is your pant leg so we're going to stitch down this seam right here. So once we we're sew this seam, so we have one pant leg. Same with the other side. We have a pant leg like this. So now we're going to have two pant legs. Then we're going to sew the crotch together. This is the front curve. And then this is the back curve. Okay, so we're going to separate these two pieces. So with the right sides together, we're gonna sew along the inseam right here. Same with both legs. My serger, and I've serged right across. You can also use your sewing machine, no worries. Take one of the pants, so you have a pant leg. 
Okay. Flip it the right side so you can see the right side. You take the other leg. Okay. Take the one that is right side out so you hold the right side out so find the crotch it's right here. Now place this inside the other leg. So you open this up and inside, okay? You should have the two right sides together of the crotch right here, okay? Make sure it's the two right sides together or else you'll be sewing it the wrong way, okay? So I always start pinning um, from the center. So we pin here, okay? So we pin all the way around and then we're gonna sew this U shape here. So for the, the side ties that we cut off earlier, so you just take this, put the right sides together, fold it in half, and then you sew around it. So I used the serger and I sewed, I sewed off the ends and all the way along, leaving an opening in the middle. So we're going to flip this inside out through this opening. So now we come to the ironing part. So I turn these inside out and use a chopstick or a pencil to help you. So I already ironed this one and we have the opening. So we're gonna use the sewing machine to close that end off, so for this. Here we, we have our pants and they look like super, super huge. We want to do the ironing. So we're gonna go through and all like the seams, we we'll iron them flat. So here. Iron this down and go through and iron out any creases. Okay, so I've already done that. We're gonna start with the legs first. So taking one of the legs, okay, we're gonna start with folding up just a little bit, like less than a centimeter, and we're gonna iron this flat and we're gonna go all the way around. Okay, so after you've ironed up just a little bit right that, okay, this is just so that we don't have any raw edges. We're going to fold it up again. Okay, this time we're going to make the hem two and a half inches. Okay, so we measure two and a half. Okay, and we take the iron and go in. If you make your pants longer, you can actually increase this distance because this will represent your ruffle because we're gonna put the elastic up at the top here. So then this will be all ruffled. For another pair of pants I made, I actually made this five inches so the ruffle was a lot bigger. So as you um, finish ironing, we're just gonna pin it down. Continue going all the way around and also for the other leg. Okay, so for the tie straps, we're just going to close off the opening. So just straight sew this. Okay, so to finish off the hem, what we're going to do is start by sewing directly on this edge. So the outer edge. So we'll be sewing right along all the way straight here. And right, we're gonna start from the um, inner crotch, so the inseam right here, this is the seam, and we're gonna leave a small opening because we're gonna need to thread the elastic through. you get your elastic so depending on the type of elastic you use it says different widths right so measure it around your thigh and have it tight but not so like it's like too tight and not too baggy as well so you figure out your comfort level of how long your elastic is also depends on how like stretchy it is okay so now we need to do a second row of stitching so that the elastic can have somewhere to go and then we'll have like the frilly bottom, right? So you place your elastic down and you have to check how big you need to make it, okay? So depending on your elastic, that depends on the, the distance that you're gonna need to go. And for this row of stitching, you don't need to leave any opening because I have an opening here. You only need one opening for the elastic. So we're gonna sew all the way around the second row of stitching. Okay, so after you finish the two rows of stitching, what you wanna do, fold your pant leg in half, starting from the crotch seam. Okay, we wanna find the halfway, the, the exact um, side seam on this side. Since we don't have a, a sewn seam there, we don't know how to find it. So once we find that place, 
So to eliminate any hand sewing, we're gonna take, this is gonna be our bow, right? So we're gonna tie the bow. We need to sew this on right at the halfway point, okay? So we're gonna stitch it on right here, just above the where the elastic is. So you see the casing is right here, so we're gonna sew it right here. So sew this down and then we can tie our bow. Okay, so right here we have it and make sure it goes like the lengthwise a long way. So this is the hem over here and we're just gonna stitch this in place. Okay, so now that we sewed it on, so even though this looks like it's sideways, when the bow is tied, it'll be right side up. Okay, so we, we take the, make two loops. Let me pull it like that, see? And you can just adjust this. What's great about sewing the center on now, because normally you would make the bow and you would have to hand sew it on, but hand sewing is such a pain. So we can do it with the machine and then you just tie the bow. There we go. Now at this step, we're gonna go with our elastic and a large strong safety pin here. Find our opening and we're gonna thread the elastic through. Okay, so once you've gone all the way around and you have the two ends, you're gonna need to zigzag them together. Okay, so after we zigzagged it in, we're just gonna adjust and pull, pull the elastic through. The final step is to close off that little hole. So here's the finished pant leg. So we have the nice ruffle. And because we do this double fold too, because now that the ruffle is like this, you'll be able to see the right side on both because this will be touching your body, right? And then we have the nice bow on the side of the leg. Okay, so now back to the ironing board. Um, we're gonna do the waist now. So we're gonna do the same thing. We're just gonna iron up a little bit just so that we don't get any of the raw edges. You get your elastic and you measure it around your waist and you make it tight enough until it's comfortable for you. Okay, so we have our elastic, so now we know how thick we want to do. So we, we fold this up and then you check the thickness. Okay, so that's a bit too big. So it's about this much and you use your elastic as a guideline for your measure. Okay, and then we're going to iron this flat. And as you go along, you can just use pins to help you hold it down. For the waistband, this part's really easy. You're just going to sew straight all the way along the edge where we ironed. And make sure you leave an opening um, so that we can thread the elastic in. So if you want to make sure you know which is the front and back, so what you do, you go find the crotch. This is like the X joint here. You hold this, you find the two pieces, and you'll find that one piece will be longer than the other one. That would be the back. Okay, so that's the back. So you can either put a pin here just so you know, and like you can sew on a label or a piece of ribbon so that you know which is the front and the back. Okay, so now we're gonna find the opening. Putting now, and we're gonna thread in our elastic. Come out, we're gonna join them together and we're gonna zigzag the elastic together. We zigzagged the elastic through and we adjusted it and placed it inside. So we just need to close off that hole. Okay, so this is to show you another example of a white pair I made. So this one is significantly longer. I cut the length, like when you first, when I cut the fabric, it was 30 inches. So it's quite a bit larger than this one. Like you can see from this is the cross difference. This is the length, right? And I made this ruffle a lot bigger. See, we only did two and a half inches. For this one, I did about five inches. So here's a white one, so it's the back. So it's pretty much the same thing. And I used a white ribbon here for the elastic waistband. Okay. So that's the end of this tutorial. So I hope you learned something and it was straightforward enough. So for really for the pattern, when you're cutting the curve, don't really worry too much about it because these pants are really baggy. So it's not gonna be that big of a deal. If, if your curve is not quite um, off, like you really don't need to buy a pattern for this, okay?
So if you still have more questions, um, please uh, post comments. I love uh, reading your comments or send me an email. So yeah, that's it. So and if you're interested in buying this or any of the items that you see my tutorials on, you can send me a, a, an email. My email will be in the description box. Thanks so much for watching. Bye bye.